Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Hank's DSL. Do you know that feeling when you're looking at uh, when you're looking at dogs with hats, but you also want to look at ducks with hats, and you're like, well, I want to look at both at the same time. Now, the solution to that historically has been to drag the tab out and just have two copies of your of, of your web browser next to each other. Now, I'm using Chrome here. Um, I'm not. I'm using Edge here um, because Edge has better battery life than Chrome. That's the sentence I was looking for. But I'm pretty sure what I'm about to show you is available on every Chrome-based browser. I haven't checked, but you know, this is the, I use Edge. Um, so I want to use. I want to look at this. So I click this button up here. Look at this amazing button. Sorry, I'm also I'm, I'm using my TV to get a 16 by 9 display. Um, oh, look at that! And there's some tabs there. Look, and I want dogs with hats. And you'll go, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I got dogs with hats right across from from ducks with hats. Look, I've weirdly I've searched for ducks in hats, but dogs with hats. I wonder what I've chosen. I wonder what the diff anyway, uh, and that means that I can now scroll to my heart's content with dogs, and at the same time I can scroll with ducks. Now you have to click one time to change side. It doesn't follow mouse movement, which is a, a small criticism I have. And when you click, it will activate whatever link you're over. So just click in some white space to make sure you don't accidentally, there you go, I just did it right then. Um, so make sure you don't accidentally do that. That's one of the criticisms I've got. Uh, and then if I want, if I'm done with this, and I'm like, oh, I want to unsplit. Uh, now keep an eye on the left hand side over here. Boop, the tab returns. You never lose a tab by merging or unmerging it. And again, if I'm just on this tab that's never been split, I can use the split button up here and it will ask me what I want to split and I'll go, I want to split it with dogs. And there you go, there's dogs. Now, uh, you'll see this blue bar tells you which one selected and there's three little dots up here in the corner which give you an idea of, 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 of tab management, I guess, is the way to do it. But you can say, I want to open tabs from left to right. So we open the left, so you click on a link and the left opens on the right, which is not a bad workflow. Or I want to open everything current tab and treat them totally separately. Um, I found myself, depending what I'm doing, flipping back and forth, like if I had a list of links down the left, I could like literally make that list of links and then treat it like a menu system, which has been... Well, it's worked really well for me, to be honest. Uh, the three little dots there will let me open uh, open screen in a new tab or view split screen pages or send feedback. Ugh. Or I can just hit X to get rid of it. Um, and yeah, now what's interesting is when I hit X to get rid of it, it does lose that tab because that's closing, not unsplitting. Now, if you want to enable this experiment, you just go to edge colon forward slash forward slash flags and search you can either use the, the, the direct link or you can just search for split so that's edge forward edge colon forward slash forward slash flags and then look for split and enable it now please be aware if you don't know what the flags page is don't mess with stuff these are experiments and tweaks and things that you might not necessarily want to enable um so don't you basically read the warning i'm not responsible for what you do and also if you enable split screens and you have no ram on your computer and you start using it on multiple tabs you're probably going to crash that's on you not me i'm really sorry um, and anybody that's about to comment and i know there's people there any muppet that's about to comment and tell me that you can just open two browsers and it's pointless is an idiot because you need to stop and think the exact same sentence was written when tabs came out, right? The exact same sentence. Now, the reason that containerization like this is better than multiple instances of an application is mental clarity and workflow. If I now minimize that, I've got one window with multiple tabs rather than having multiple windows open. It's easier to navigate, especially with someone that uses a lot of tabs. And if you still, after I've said that, think, hey, Hex, shut up. What's the point? Stop using tabs in your browser and see how that goes. This is exact same move in the exact same direction. And it's frustrating that I know, even though I've said it, I'm going to get I'm going to get comments that just like, I just use multiple windows. Or I use a tiling window manager. No, you still got multiple instances of the bloody application open. It's still, it's still not as mentally clean. Actually, I'm going to talk about tabs in multiple applications. I'm going to make a video tomorrow talking about splitting in Word, which I found super useful as well, because split screens are great. Um, there is this is not a split view either. This is set. This is mer this is putting multiple tabs in one window. Um, I should probably say that as well. Um, this is not the same as having two views of the same website, which is something that I would like to see implemented, but I think that would be a problem for people to pass what they're looking at. Um, also, anyway, if you uh, if you go over to uh, 
If you go over to xdsl.com, which is my Tumblr post, you will see a current post that's just like an outline of what's on my desk because I was I was bored and I just thought I'd write a little outlook of what's on my desk. It's weird to look at my desk while I'm looking at my desk. I've even got that same wallpaper on at the moment, which is weird. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, uh, this has been a modicum of interest to you and even if you don't like split screen tabs at least you know they're there now if you want them um i do wonder if this will ever be mainstream oh and also if you start relying on experiments and flags don't forget they're not mainstream they might they might get removed it's, they're not no one's saying they're there forever i would like to think they will be though to be honest in this case because it's so useful and they're kind of in, baking in this functionality is how the sidebar works so it's kind of an offshoot of that not that anyone actually uses edge sidebar for anything useful speaking of which have you seen the other bing button you've got there it brings up this stupid sidebar every time you mouse over it and I find that infuriating. And, and yeah, I would like, I just want to turn it off. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I've been Hank's DSL, and goodbye, everyone.